Usually, we can't control the sensations that link our bodies with the outside world. But science may be about to change that. Nine years ago, while shooting a commercial, Laura Tibbetts fell from a horse. She recovered, but she still suffers from chronic pain in her shoulder. I've had um, two surgeries, done tons of physical therapy, tried acupuncture, done massage therapy. It becomes a full-time job just trying to manage your pain when all you really want to do is, is move on and go back to your life. Laura is still looking for ways to overcome pain that never goes away. Now, she may be able to take control of her own sensation. The Shaolin monks of China are famous for fighting skills and acrobatics, but above all, for their ability to somehow manage their senses. Does this really not hurt, or do they just not mind the pain? To prepare themselves for their grueling acts, the monks use one of the oldest forms of pain control, meditation. We have to focus 100%. We need willpower to channel our chi, our spiritual energy. When we meditate, we channel this spiritual energy throughout our body. Meditation starts by changing how the body works. The heart slows, pumping less blood. The muscles relax. Relaxed muscles means less tension, which means less pain. But the strangest effect occurs in the brain. Astonishingly, although the brain is still alert, Meditation lessens the emotional reaction to pain. It's like turning down the volume. So when pain sensations hit, they have little effect. That's how the monks can tolerate what for anyone else would be extraordinary pain. Now, technology could help Laura achieve these same results as she thinks away her pain. An advanced MRI scanner shows what sensations look like deep within the brain. Because pain activity occurs all around the brain, it's hard to know where to look. But pain creates strong emotions that offer a map of this mystifying sensation. These pictures don't show pain. That's an important distinction to make. Much like any study that we show where neuroimaging of love or fear or hate, we're not actually showing those experiences in the brain. What we're doing is we're showing the brain regions that play a role in that experience of pain. Perhaps by watching for activity in this region, we can find a way to control the sensation of pain. Laura watches her brain working in real time as the scanner charts the emotional activity that her pain causes. We can focus on a specific region of their brain, and we can process that brain activity level and send that back to them so that they can see their own brain activity in real time, much like a, a fighter pilot would see a, a, a cockpit display. Brain scans are hard to read, so they represent the activity in the form of a flame. The bigger the flame, the more activity in this crucial area. Laura's job is to shrink the flame using only her mind. Okay, Laura, we're now gonna move on to getting the brain imaging scans and having you focus on decreasing your pain. As if she were isolating a muscle at a gym, Laura uses the flame to target the appropriate part of her brain. To think the pain away, Laura's devised ingenious mental exercises. To get the pain down, I would sometimes resort to stopping and thinking just what on my body doesn't hurt, and then focus in on that location of my body and try to really clear my mind. 
I also would imagine little people coming in, marching and taking the pain and scooping it out, literally removing it. The results are astonishing. Patients trying this method say their pain has shrunk by nearly half on average. That's about as much as many pain drugs achieve. People can learn how to control a specific region of their brain if they see it on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. And that was what was exciting about this, and that for the first time, we showed that people can actually tap into a specific region of the brain and learn to control it. And it leads to a specific change in behavior, because that's never been done before. Someday, this technique might also help treat illnesses, such as depression or addiction. If it works, we may all be able to take as much control of our sensations as the Shaolin monks. The human body is quite literally a bundle of nerves. They transmit sensations that keep our bodies in harmony. They give us pleasure and alert us with pain, always at the ready to trigger our bodies into action. We're still learning the true potential of our senses. The further we can push their limits, the greater the superhero within all of us, the human body.